Albany's Rock Station. We are super excited today to be joined by singer, songwriter, winner of Season 8, NBC's The Voice, and Capital Region local, Sawyer Fredericks. Hey, Sawyer, thank you for giving us a couple minutes to holler into the show today. Oh, I'm happy to stop by. Uh, let me ask you a question. You know, in upstate New York, it is a matter of opinion to pretty much everybody where exactly upstate New York starts, how far the Capital Region reaches, and when Central New York starts. You know, you're from Fultonville. Do you consider Fultonville part of the Capital Region? Um, I've always just considered it upstate New York. So, like, everything's upstate New York? Yeah, everything. No, yeah, I like that. It makes things so much easier. Well, I know here in the Capital Region, you know, everybody, our listeners included, have pretty much felt like you were one of our own, um, especially, you know, seeing your time on television and then to you playing a lot of local shows around the Capital Region. And we're really excited that we get to see you play again here in just a couple of days. You're coming Sunday to play at the Egg in Albany on the Hide Your Ghost Tour. How is the tour going so far? It's been going great so far. We've been touring with them, uh, Parsons Field, doing like co-headlining shows, and it's been it's been really cool. Yeah, uh, you guys seem to have been traveling uh, across the country. I've been enjoying your kind of Facebook Live request videos that you've been doing from random spots, <laughs> wherever you happen to be. Yeah. Have you ever found yourself like in the middle of the park or in front of the National Monument, surrounded by people watching you do these videos? Um, a couple times because the last Facebook Live I actually did in front of the Washington Monument. Yeah. And <laughs> I actually had a couple people stopping on the street to like listen to us, but <laughs> <laughs> they, they, I think they kind of knew that it was like a video thing, so they, they didn't stick around for long. <laughs> That's funny. Do you think that they knew that it was you or that they were just listening because it sounded so awesome? I think they were just listening because I was playing music. That's great. So speaking of music, let's talk a little bit about your new album, Hide Your Ghost. Um, this one is a definite shift from A Good Storm. I got to tell you, I listened to this album and I got really sad. Like, really, like, a lot of these songs were really deep, and I felt like I, yeah. like I needed to give you a hug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about, like, the kind of headspace you were in when you were making this record? Well, this record, uh, I was mostly wanting to get across all of the, the kind of, like, fears that I, I put into a lot of my original work, which is very, like, emotional and very, like, into storytelling. And... I kind of feel like the A Good Storm album didn't really convey who I was like as an artist because it didn't have as much of my unique things. Right. So this album, I feel, has like truly like conveyed my artistry and also just the the amount of emotion I can put into the songs. But I mean, like a lot of these songs, they're mostly based on imagination. None of them are like really like personal experiences because I, mean, I haven't had time to go through any of that <laughs> <laughs> well that's but, good to know because i was also like man you're you know you're still pretty young these are some pretty heavy yeah. topics you're you're hitting on here <laughs> no most of the time it's just the feeling that inspires me and i just normally just use imagination to build off of it Wow. I mean, you told some pretty powerful stories on the, on this album. And I mean, to the point where, like, it moved me. You know, I felt it. I, even though I was sad, it was still making, you know, it still gives you that raw emotion. And I'm, I'm pretty excited to be able to see this live on Sunday night. Uh, how has the, like, perception from your fans who, like, only knew you from The Voice and is now getting to know, like, the real you been so far? Um, <laughs> a lot of them were a little a little shocked just because they're like, oh, no, it's, it's Sawyer. He's, he's playing, like, sad songs, and they're all worried about me. But <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of them have, like, accepted it very well, and, like, they actually, like, really enjoy that there's more, like, depth to my music instead of just more, like, poppy sound. Right? That's really awesome. Um, your your first album had um, a little help from, like, Pharrell, your coach on there, right? Is it weird knowing mm -hmm. that there are, like... Uh, a few voice contestants now that are like from the same area you grew up in, like Mariah from Mika, and there's a girl on this season, Delaney Silvernell, who is competing. Do you think there's like something in the water that either creative types are coming from here? <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it's possible that I definitely inspired some people to try out for it just because, I mean, like I've had people tell me that they were inspired just from it, them seeing that there was someone local trying out for the voice, and they're like, oh, maybe I can do that. So I think I think that's really cool, but I mean, it it, it doesn't really like shock me any, but it's a cool experience, and <laughs> I, I highly recommend it to anyone. Do you think that you would collaborate with any other of the contestants that are you know here in your hometown? Um, I mean, yeah, maybe. 
Hey, you never know, <laughs> right? It, it depends. <laughs> I'm, I'm very picky when I, it comes to writing style, so I... <laughs> Uh, I could imagine. I'm writing with people. How has your experience with that whole like the reality TV show and the super like pop kind of rise to fame um, like influenced your your second album and and what you're doing now? Well, some of the songs are actually inspired by some of my experiences when I was on The Voice, but um, I would say that after the show, I feel like the whole thing has just kind of like taught me mostly like business wise and how every everything works. And trying to like create something that is like truly like complete as an album. Yeah, kind of a little bit of a, a reality check, and you have to take a step back and be true to yourself as well, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So since you've been on the road and since your time on television, I imagine you've had some new life experiences. I know that Hide Your Ghost isn't uh, it's still pretty new, but have you been feeling creative and putting the pen to paper while you've been touring? Yeah, I've actually I've been writing a couple songs and I already have kind of like a plan for the next album. I just need to write some material for it. Ooh, that's super exciting. Yeah. Well, I, I can't wait to hear it, and I hope maybe you will share some uh, happy experiences on the next album as well as the, the deep ones. <laughs> Sawyer, thank you so much for calling into the show today. Get his new album. It is out right now. It is called Hide Your Ghost. It's available everywhere you go to consume your music. And don't forget to go check him on Sunday night at The Egg in Albany. If you need tickets, you can find those at Q103Albany.com.